A few days ago, I was inspired to go out and buy a 2 liter of Barks root beer, some creamy haagen vanilla ice cream, and make a root beer float. Since then, I've probably had about 4 of them, and I don't really think I'm going to stop anytime soon. It's just too damn good. But why? What makes food that is terrible for you so mouth-watering delicious? Milkshakes, hot dogs, frosted flakes, cookies, brownies, etc. Why is bad food so good? <laughs> Hi everyone, Thought Monkey here, and today I'm going to be talking about why unhealthy food is just so damn good. The answer lies in how our genes have adapted to the conditions of our environment. Bad food is usually made up of certain ingredients that have historically been rare, yet have been vital to our short-term survival since the dawn of mankind. Our genetic makeup interacts with these nutrients in a way that makes them almost irresistible to us, releasing certain chemicals in our brain that have been found to be similar to the chemicals that are released when we take certain drugs. Imagine being out on the hunt or gathering food for hours in a hot environment where food is limited and water is even hard to come by. In the distance, you see a ripe plum tree. What would you do? I know, like a fly attracted to light, I would be pulled into that tree and just gorge myself. The problem today is different, however. First, living to a certain age is a rather new concept. The average lifespan of most of our ancestors before the invention of agriculture was probably not more than 45, rather than today's 78. Therefore, our genes didn't really have longevity in mind, but instead the need to keep us moving and doing activities like running, caring, and thinking. In our body's mind, short-term energy is better than long-term health if you aren't going to live long enough to experience long-term health issues in the first place. The problem today is that our access to food is overwhelming, while our lifespan is longer than ever. Evolution has not been able to keep up with the pace of the development of agriculture. While humans took millions of years to develop, agriculture has only been around for about 10,000 years and has led to other developments like the Industrial Revolution, which has made our access to food all the more merrier. If our genetics are working against us in today's modern society, the answer to our health issues then lie in finding a way to work with our genetics by modifying our environment so that our behavior doesn't cause us to eat ourselves to death. We can also now modify and extract the nutrients found in nature that our genes so desire like sugars, fats, and proteins to make them taste better or make them harder for us to resist. For example, back in the day, sugar also came with fibrous and vitamin-rich fruits. However, now we can extract the sugars, the vitamins, and the fiber and use each for different reasons. We can extract pure sugar from plants to make our baked goods and beverages just so much more delicious and look toward the supplement industry to take pill forms of vitamins and even put a scoop of fiber into our morning smoothies. The problem with this is that we lose other nutrients and compounds found in plants during the extraction process and by isolating each, we tend to overuse and then overeat them. Again, not so bad in the short term, but over time, overeating nutrients, whether carbs, fats, or proteins, can cause, and often do cause, health problems. Finally, having access to so much processed food like soda, cookies, donuts, etc. has in a way dulled our palates. Having a deliciously ripe and fresh orange right after drinking a cup of orange soda sounds kind of disgusting, but think about having that same orange right after a long hike without eating. The same orange put into a different situation and environment all of a sudden becomes mouth-watering. With so much access to processed foods, we can one-up what we eat every time we eat. While it may be only one scoop of sugar in today's coffee, in three years it might be three scoops as our palates get used to and desensitized to the taste of sugar. Food in the US and also around the world is a problem. There's too much access to bad foods that are just simply irresistible. But there's not much any individual can do to stop the food industry from making such deliciously irresistible foods. So what's the answer then? The answer lies in adaptation, something that has proved to be the force behind human progress and survival over the past hundred thousands of years. Humans have adapted to every single environment across the planet, even Antarctica. So to solve this food problem, we have to adapt once again. Willpower and discipline only go so far. So the key is developing an environment that will support you to eat in a way that sustains you on the day to day, but also keeps you healthy in the long run. As for me, I'm going to go grab another root beer float because, really, who cares? Thank you for listening. Please click the like button below if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to stay updated with your latest Thought Monkey video.